180. Paul, congratulations through to the last 16 here at the William Hill Grand Slam. That's a great job tonight. You're celebrating with a well-earned cup of tea there. Yeah, no milk, no sugar. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit emotional tonight, I'm not going to lie, because uh, that game meant a lot to me. I was playing a very good friend, and I didn't really know what to expect from myself tonight, because I, I played pretty well against Kevin. I didn't play very well against Phil. And what I wanted to do tonight was just dig deep. You know, I haven't felt very well all week. I felt a little bit stomachy. <laughs> but as far as I'm concerned, um, my mental training over the last 12 months really helped me there in a tough situation and I got the job done and I'm, I'm very, very proud right now. I don't think the cameras will actually reflect how proud I am because I'm, pre I'm feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, it was a, a real professional performance. Five out of seven on your finishing. When you had a chance tonight, you took it. Yeah, I, I think um, under pressure, what I want to do as a professional is take chances when I've got them. One thing that Phil Taylor has taught me is that you may not be the biggest scorer in the world, but when you get chances, you have to take them and you have to just believe in every shot you have. And when I had the double six, you know, I, I, did, I didn't miss the double 12 from, um, from very far, but I just thought if you don't hit this double six, you could get yourself in a bit of a mental blockage. So I thought, hit it now, get the job done, and I got the job done. Is it fair to call that a mature performance? I think that's exactly what it was. Um, sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional. Um, <laughs> um, I will say one thing, you know, Mark Webster's performance last night really did inspire me, because Mark, my best friend on tour, and he knows that. And he hasn't had the best of, you know, six to eight months. And what he did last night was just say, right, it doesn't matter how you're doing, just knuckle down and do your job. Yeah. And, you know, I thank Mark for that. There are some other people I want to thank. You know, Joanne Wright, Peter's missus. She's done a great job in me here. She's but also she, ruined your shirt. I, I can see the, yeah, she has. <laughs> the marks there from the makeup. Yeah, she's like the only way is zip switch. Um, however, um, she's been a good friend this week. She's yeah. really been there when I needed one. Um, you know, it, it wasn't easy after Saturday night. I mean, Kevin and I had words, and Kevin was man enough to come and apologise to me. You know, it, it did help. I'm not going to lie. But as far as I'm concerned, this tonight was it was a mature performance. I'm proud of myself. I got through the group, and now I have to think of another job to do, and that's to beat James Wade. Yeah, it's a, a big task. Um, he's, he's obviously a great player. Seven major titles under his belt. He's, he's been in the top four or five of the world for, for five or six years and, and someone I know you're looking to get one over on it. Somebody I know you're looking to get one over on, on TV. Well, I've beaten him a few times, but it always seems to be in exhibitions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not that he doesn't care about exhibitions, but it just seems to, to me that I, I, I get one over him mm. on those particular stages. Um, I think the game that we had in my first World Championships has haunted me for a long, long time. And if I can manage to get over him in a couple of days, that may be the biggest win of my life because sometimes you have to just get over that mental hurdle and James is actually he's getting into that kind of form which has made him a major champion. I can see that. His, his mental focus right now is very good. So I'm going to have to play a lot better and I'm looking forward to the game because it should be a great challenge. Yeah, it's, you've had three contrasting matches in the group stage. This is now it's knockout, it's, it's first to ten, so it's, it's another different prospect for you. It is. It's, it's, it's almost like being in the first round of Blackpool. Um, this is only the second time I've actually got through the group. Yeah. I know what it's like to actually get through the group in a very gritty game. When I played Steve Beaton, I was well down, but I found that extra inch that I needed to, to find. So from here on in, I've just got to draw on that experience. And when you have good experiences like that, you have to draw on them to actually get you through these situations. And uh, it should be a great game. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to look forward to it. I think we'll have a cup of tea as well while we're watching yeah. it. Well Cheers. done, mate. <laughs> Thank Cheers. you very much. Thanks. One hundred and eighty.